Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Friday, April 14th, 2023. Good morning, I'm Mike Sepervivi. We begin today with developing news on the potential return of CM Punk to All Elite Wrestling. According to an exclusive report yesterday from Fightful Select, plans are in the works to bring Punk back on the June 21st edition of Dynamite from his hometown of Chicago, or possibly sooner. The June 21st date is the go-home show before the Forbidden Door 2 pay-per-view event. Punk missed last year's Forbidden Door due to a foot injury, and it's not known if there have been talks for him to have a match on this year's show. It had been previously reported that Punk had pitched several ideas to AEW around a possible return, including working with members of the Elite. Elite members Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks have reportedly been against such an idea in the past, and it's not known if their position has changed. AEW has not officially announced Punk's return, but the company reportedly plans to do so well in advance, with Fightful's report suggesting it might take place at the Warner Brothers Discovery upfronts taking place at Madison Square Garden on May 17th. We will keep you updated on further details and confirmations related to this story as it develops. In ratings news, AEW Dynamite held relatively steady this week with a total audience of 866,000 viewers on TBS, down slightly from last week's audience of 877,000, according to Showbuzz Daily. The rating in the key 18 to 49 year old demographic was 0.28, down nearly 7% from last week's key demographic rating of 0.30, according to WrestleNomics. The ratings figure equates to 365,000 viewers. The show came in sixth place on cable TV for the evening in the key demo for the second week in a row. In Canada, Post Wrestling reported that Dynamite averaged approximately 116,000 English language viewers on TSN2, with 62,000 of them in the 25 to 54 year old demographic. Ring of Honor aired last night on Honor Club, featuring matches taped at last week's AEW Rampage taping in Kingston, Rhode Island. ROH World Champion Claudio Castagnoli made the sixth successful defense of his current reign, defeating Metallic in 12 minutes and 4 seconds. After the win, Castagnoli addressed the entire ROH roster in an online exclusive backstage promo. I get asked all the time, Claudio... Who would you like to defend your Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship against? So today, like usually, I watched the whole show before my match with Metalik. And Metalik, I give you a lot of credit for stepping up. Sorry, kid. It's just not your day. Just not good enough. Speaking of the rest of you, not that impressed. I need somebody to step up. I need somebody to stand out. Because I'm not just a once a week, or I'm not just somebody that does this for fun. I'm not somebody that just wants to be famous. I am a professional wrestler. ROH women's champion Athena also defended her title on the show, beating Ashley Demboise. AEW World Tag Team champs FTR came to the aid of Mark Briscoe when Briscoe was attacked by Ari Davari, Josh Woods, and Tony Nese following Briscoe's defeat of Davari in a one-on-one match. Also on the show, Madison Rain appeared to suffer a leg injury on her way to a defeat at the hands of Robin Renegade. In other results, ROH Pure Champion Katsuyori Shibata teamed with Alex Coughlin to defeat Anthony Henry and J.D. Drake. Stu Grayson beat Tony Nese, and Darius Martin defeated Mike Bennett by disqualification due to outside interference from Matt Taven. Bennett and Taven continued to attack Martin after the match until Action Andretti made the save. Impact Wrestling presented its go-home show last night on Access TV leading into Sunday's Rebellion pay-per-view featuring matches taped March 26 in Windsor, Ontario. Steve Macklin and Kushida came to blows during the show in a pull-apart brawl angle ahead of their main event Sunday night to determine who will win the vacant Impact World Championship relinquished by the injured Josh Alexander. The opener saw Kenny King defeat Frankie Kazarian in a match to determine which of the two men's respective five-person teams will have the advantage going into Sunday's Hardcore War tag team match between Team Dreamer and Team Bully Ray. In other results from the go-home show, Tasha Steeles defeated Giselle Shaw, 
Impact Knockouts Tag Team title co-holder Taylor Wilde pinned Jessica. The Laredo Kid made his return with a win over Black Taurus, Rich Swan, and Lince Dorado in a four-way match. And Digital Media Champion Joe Hendry and Dirty Dango defeated The Design. The Design attacked Hendry and Dango after the match, prompting Impact Director of Authority Santino Morella to hit the ring and help fight them off. Morella is scheduled to make his Impact in-ring debut at Rebellion, teaming with Henry and Dango against The Design. Mickey James also vacated the Impact Knockouts title, which will now be up for grabs at Rebellion in a match between Jordan Grace and Deanna Perrazzo. James has reportedly been suffering through several injuries, including broken ribs and a torn muscle in her shoulder. The five-time Knockouts champion last wrestled during Impact television tapings in Las Vegas this past February 26. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall. Just the Wrestling News. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.